Hey folks, it's Jobin. Today I felt like showing you my lighter collection. I don't know what it is about uh, knives and guns and lighters and uh, a few other things. Flashlights, probably watches too. You know, it's kind of like if you like one of those, you probably like two, three, four of the others maybe. But yeah. So this is my lighter collection. It used to fit nice, neatly in this nice wooden box I have. It doesn't anymore, so now, you know, I don't keep them all there anymore. But just for this video, I stuck them in to carry them around. Uh, I got some uh, Bic lighters. Not really what you'd call collectible material, that's just uh, some of my extras. Uh, these little ones have little zip ties around them, so you can't press the... Uh, the gas button so they can be bouncing around in a pack with other gear and not discharge. Got an Honest Butane lighter. I use this lighter. Now you can't see the blue flame in daylight really. I use this lighter for paracord work because it's very comfortable. It's got sort of like a pistol grip on it. A lot of lighters are sort of purpose designed to be cigarette lighters and they just aren't really angled work right for doing work with but this one is. Uh, this is another little Honest brand lighter. Super slim. You know, it's like the size of a Bic Mini, but thinner. And I've got the flame to turn down real low on it. But it has like a flint ignition, and it has, you know, the... Uh, the standard ye yellow flame that's uh, really efficient in terms of the fuel it burns, a lot more so than the blue jets, which you need to fill up all the time. It's a cheapo uh, Ronson. So it's sort of an impulse buy. It's a Kohlrabi Firebird. I just like the color. It was in like the cashier aisle at a store for five bucks, so I picked one up. Another Honest lighter. This one's got like this lanyard thingy on it. You could clip to your belt or whatnot. And it's sort of unusual, like two cylinder design. Butane powered. Pretty cool. Everyone's gotta have a Zippo, right? This is mine. It's a, it's a reproduction of one of the uh, styles from a few decades ago. I think this might have been like a 1943 reproduction or something. Zippos are great. So much fun to play with. This is a Imco lighter. Though I'm actually fairly cer certain this one's a counterfeit. I got it on eBay a while ago, and I wasn't really paying attention, and I noticed later, you know, it's a lighter supposedly made in Vienna, Austria, but the package came to me from Hong Kong. Yeah. But it still works okay. These ones, they ignite like that. This one's empty. You'd have the flame down in there. You could also pull out this inside bit and set it down, and it'll burn like a candle. It's a pretty cool feature. Uh, this is one of the stars of my collection, you know, something actually worth being kind of proud you own. It's a really neat lighter. Uh, these are often called trench lighters. Um, I can't remember what their right name or manufacturer is, but it's, it's all brass. It is from about the World War II era, and it has a very it's very interesting mechanically. It has the inside cylinder and then a brass sleeve, and there's this mechanical linkage here. So when you pull down on this ring, the sleeve slides up, it forms a windscreen, it uncaps the wick, and then you spin the wheel and ignite it. And then when you want to, when you're done, you just slide it the other way, cap goes over the wick, and it goes out. I just stumbled across um, a you know, some listings for these when I was on eBay one time, and I knew I had to have one as soon as I saw it. 
it's it's just so old school. Yep, another Honest brand butane lighter. I really like this brand. They're the sort of uh, what San Moo is to knives. Honest is to lighters. You know, they're Chinese, but they have good designs, good quality control. This one, for some reason, there's this little window in here, and when you open the lid, like a little LED comes on in there. That's sort of the fuel window, and when it burns, there's like uh, this, I think it's like a little twist of wire that like glows incandescent hot. Which is actually kind of good, because it's really hard to see a butane flame in daylight. But this one, you can at least tell when it's on. And it makes it a little more wind- Ah! Geez, sorry about that. It makes it a little more wind resistant. Uh, yep, another Honest lighter. I think this model's discontinued. I kind of collect these things. This one, it's not showing up, but it has like a- Outside, but it has like a red-purple flame. Looks awesome. The compass on the front's kind of cheesy. It's not really a great compass, and- <clears throat> While I am, or would like to consider myself an outdoorsman, you don't really need to slop a compass on everything. I don't know, it just seems cheesy at a certain point. Kind of like when you get something and it, it's like all camoed up and covered in skulls. You know, that's cool to a point, but don't make it ridiculous. This is a weird little lighter, sort of a curiosity. I have to admit, I got it mostly because the brand name is Joe Bon. It's so close to my screen name. <laughs> it sounded like somebody saying Jopin in like a Cuban accent or something. But it's got a kind of weird action on it. it slides like this. And then strike it like that. And there's a little wick down there. And that would burn. Very strange little lighter. Haven't seen anything else like it. Prominent match. Actually, just did a video on uh, this. Also, it'll probably be putting that up separately, so I'm not going to bother to show how it works if you don't know. Little capsule peanut lighter that I made a paracord lanyard for. Love these things. It's a Chinese lanyard knot and a sort of overgrown cow's hitch. Uh, some flints for the Zippos and stuff. When you get a Zippo repaired, they send you back the broken pieces too. So this is just basically spare uh, wick and padding at that point. And uh, uh, the stuff that holds the fuel. Um, this is a fancy little lighter. You spin this cylinder at the side to light it. It's one of those ones where as soon as you open the cap, the gas starts flowing. And this one actually has two little lights on it. There are these buttons on the side. It has a white LED and an ultraviolet one. I don't know, I guess for detecting counterfeit bills or something. Kind of nifty. A uh, buddy of mine gave me this. I've never even seen these for sale anymore. This is a disposable lighter. It is ridiculously thin. It says G-E-I on the side. I don't really know much about this, but he knew I liked lighters, and he saw it somewhere and got me one. Neat little thing. Uh, this is sort of peanut lighter style, too. And... Finally, this is my Rat Cutlery Zippo. I don't use this much because... Well, I have another Zippo. I mean, I love it. I like to carry it, but... 
this might actually be a collector's item someday. I could see these going up in value, especially since they got the old Rat Cutlery logo on them. They do other, they do uh, other limited run Zippos sometimes, like on the SE forums and stuff, but I bet they won't be doing with this logo again. Might be worth a little something someday, or at least more than I paid for it. So I don't want to see it get scratched up. I carry occasionally and always make sure to put it in a pocket where there's another stuff that's going to get banged up against it. So there you guys go. Uh, past 10 minutes and I was hoping to keep this a little shorter, but hey, it takes as long as it takes. I hope you guys enjoy this little look. I'm actually planning to do a, like a series of lighter review videos, because as you see, I got a bunch, and every once in a while I get another one. So that's something I'm going to have going on soon. Uh, hope you enjoyed the look, and you folks have a good day.